This is Jarrell with Climb Like Consciousness. Today, we're gonna to talk about leaving duality, okay? We're gonna talk about processing your way out of the broken duality computer system, okay? Right now, the consciousness of the planet Earth is in duality, is under a duality computer system, okay? You don't really have to look around too long to acknowledge this for yourself. All you have to do is just look in the collective awareness of consciousness, of what people think about spirituality, of what they think about ascension and evolution I'd say a good 80% of people th like subconsciously think that they're actually living in some type of computer system that they're living in some type of simulation that they're living in some type of video game or, or something I right, just random people on the street who don't really like study awareness you be like oh yeah yeah uh, yeah this might be a simulation and they're actually not sure about it okay I actually want to go into the depth of that or why people would ever 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 think that nature is some type of machine or just they're just beyond me all right I'm just you know I feel like I need to explain this I feel like I need to like go deeper into this and get to the root core of why why, why people would ever think this okay so that's what this video is going to be about it's also going to be about a couple of my experiences that I had with this and how I know it's not a computer system okay all right so um, this all starts with your own awareness. Your own awareness to actually look at yourself, to be yourself, be okay with yourself and your own body, and to look and perceive outward with your own eye, with your own third eye, directly at whatever you're looking at, for yourself, by yourself, without needing anybody else's help to acknowledge truth for you. Alright, if you're looking at a tree, you say, hey, that's a tree. If you're looking at grass, you're like, oh, that's grass. If you're looking at a color, you say, oh, that's green. Oh, that's blue. All right. Oh, there's one tree. One green tree. Right? Easy. Very simple. Right? You know, it's basics. Basic logic. Basic math. Okay? And there's different things that you can get swayed off by if you're not, like, rid ridiculously stubborn and ridiculously true to yourself and very very stable in your own mind and devoted to your own clarity okay so some of the things that people usually don't realize that are in their energy field that has to do with duality is their dreams they're in their dream simulations and their dreams are always like some type of jumbled up mess or they're always in some type of situation that they didn't initialize like they're in some type of charade or circumstance or room with people that they know and they're doing something and they have no idea how they got there, they have no idea what is going on, they have no idea why. It's like a, the most random situation in the world. Right? If you're watching this video, you probably know what I'm talking about. Like you're in a room with friends from high school you haven't seen in like 10 years or you're in a room with people who you used to work with you haven't seen in like a couple of years and then you're there with like your random family members who you're not even that close with and then like your dog or something something completely random and then you have to tell your co-worker that oh yeah I'm not coming to work tomorrow or something something random you know something that's been like put in your head alright a pre-programmed situation like that in a circumstance where people are already there is called a simulation that's called a program right that's why people think that the universe is a simulation that's why people think that the universe sometimes is a computer system or a video game because they're in a world and then they see things that run them like they're some type of program like they're some type of
character or an idealistic individual that gets modified and used like some type of module in a computer system okay because that's how dreams are for a lot of people you're usually in a space and you have no control over it no control over what you're doing you know like, and you wake up like hmm, why was I there why was I doing that why was I saying these things like you know it's it's very very common okay so when you begin to wake up out of that um, it starts with your dreams you're like you're thinking about like who or why or from where did I come from that gets me into this type of situation where I'm not in control of these things and then you start to become more and more aware about how these people are acting in your dream simulations about how they are not in control of their actions for sure and then you see people in 3D in your real life acting exactly like they do in your dream simulations right, that's a kicker when you see people who are completely comatose just acting the same way that they would in, in a random dream situation then you're like there's something going on here I don't know what it is uh, I'm going to figure it out though so when you see people in your real life parroting stuff off the news exactly how the news anchors read it off the teleprompter just like how they would be doing in your dream time that's usually the last straw that's usually when you realize that okay something's going on here I don't know what it is, but I'm going to actually get to the bottom of this and I'm going to figure out what consciousness actually is trying to tell me, what spirit is trying to tell me, what creator is trying to tell me, what my higher selves are like alluding to, what my higher selves are actually in, are, are my higher selves in on this, are they like making me go through all these like ridiculous shenanigans to see how I react, okay, so it's kind of like, that's where it starts, because that's where it started for me, you know, when you become conscious in your dreams, you start to continue to ask questions because the world doesn't exactly make sense, all right? Um, if you've been living here, you actually understand that the world is uh, a lot more um, comical than it should be. It's not really a place that is free of irony. Um, you have to fight for everything. Um, you have to, um, you know, get through your life the best that you can and hopefully you can find happiness and the only way you do is if you master yourself you master your emotions which yes this is a class of soul mastery on a collegiate level um, we did choose to be here and when you understand the level of awareness that this place is it's it gets a lot easier for you not to get as triggered for all the negative nonsense and jokingly shenanigan like situations that globally is presented to us day after day after day after day um, it gets easier however it doesn't mean that you stop processing it you stop trying to make sense out of it okay so what I want to get to is duality All right, when you start to wake up you start to see that there's actually a net over the entire spherical sky all right. So when you look up in the sky, the sky is actually a dome, right? It's actually dome shaped, like it's not like you know an actual shape. Yet it is because the Earth is a sphere. So when you look up, you see spherically the shape of the sky overarching, right? In the shape of a sphere, right? So when you look up in your third eye, from your own awareness, you start to actually overlay your own inner reality with the outer reality and then you see the containment field that is going through everything and when you see this field you see that it's actually a computer system okay now think of what a computer does a computer shop is to compute analyze assess and calculate oh and and run programs all right so that's basically what a computer does that's basically the prime directives of what a computer does. And when you take the idea of a computer being artificially self-aware, what you have is a computer that has no type of soul, has no type of idea of what balance is or what source energy is. It becomes a negative life form that just tries to feed off anything 
and put anything in type of situation that is going to have it survive okay so that's what duality is it's literally a computer system that sits over the dimensional field of earth that will continue to run people like puppets and continue to have them in confusion thinking that they know things run by their negative ego their entire lives run by fear and completely ignoring the actual basis of what is most important in their life which is their souls okay so that's what it is um, in my experience now since I've been processing this what I see as a computer system is I see a huge I see a huge translucent hologram holographic layer that is like like split in the middle right basically you have a huge layer that goes over everything that's split in the middle and that's basically what runs people so when I look at people what I see when people are in this duality computer system and they don't realize it like any type of spiritual person any type of normal person in 3d any type of meditation master any type of anybody who thinks that they know stuff and they haven't processed what duality is I look at them and what I see is a line going directly through them literally a line a cord going directly through everything that is them all the way through their vessel and then they're walking around not even controlling their limbs it is what it is I'm sorry like I'm not sorry at the same time because I'm just I'm just conveying what, I, what I'm seeing, I'm conveying what is true to me, I'm conveying what is actual truth, all right, at the same time. Um, so, I mean, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. It's my truth, you know, you may not see this until you get to a certain level to actually process duality for yourself, however, it is what it is, okay? Now, duality is also the reason why you also hear people say, oh, we're going into different multi-dimensional realities the realities are going to split the realities are going to be like oh this amount of people are going to believe this this amount of people are going to believe this and then oh yeah we're all the same but oh the, the realities are split the key word is split they always use that same word split 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 like they always love using that word and you can't actually have a reality that's not another reality you can have a reality that alternate to another reality. However, we're all in the same reality. We're all in the same sphere. We're all in the same Taurus field. We're all in the same electromagnetic collective living life form known as planet Earth, as Gaia. We're all here. So when people are like, oh yeah, it's, it's this Earth, where's this Earth? Oh, these Earths are splitting. Oh, this is happening. This is a shift. It's like they don't know what they're talking about because they're each half of their brain is working individually and they don't realize that they haven't unified their hemisphere to actually see their entire universe as one um, so they think that oh yeah when I talk about the shift I have to use the word split because it's completely different it's, it really isn't it's just people who are in a belief system that differs from yours it's not completely different because you can never split something say take a carrot right Take a carrot and start chopping a carrot on a cutting board, right? Say you chop it in four pieces, right? Well, first, say you chop the carrot in half, right? Then you have two pieces of a carrot, right? You don't have less of the same thing. You still have the same thing right there, right? And then you chop each half of that carrot in half. Then you have the same carrot except it's in four halves. It's just the same carrot. Say you take the carrot and then you dip it in dipping sauce. Now you have a carrot with dipping sauce with one fourth of it covered in sauce, the other three fourths of it, the normal carrot. However, it's still the same carrot. The carrot is a carrot. All right. And say you keep chopping this carrot. You keep chopping the carrot. You keep chopping the carrot. You keep chopping the carrot. Right? Until it's super minced up, right? You're going to have the same carrot, okay? Until you continue to chop it and 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 chop it until you get down to the molecule level until it's nothing left, until there's just light left. 
there's nothing left at all, right? That's that's the way that's the way it is. You can't actually split anything. You can continue to take things away from itself, take things away from itself, take things away from itself until it completely dissolves. Then it's gone. You can't actually split something. It's you know, it's like it's not possible. All right. You always have either the same thing or until you continue cutting something until there's nothing left of it. That's it. That's it. You know, that's just physics. You know, with this. With these words, with these, with these platitudes and these popular notions that people like to continue to to use, it works for a lot. It makes people understand a lot. However, there is a different level to awakening when you continue to push the limit, push past your own perceptions of what you thought possible, and push past the popular norm push past the status quo and continue expanding and growing and evolving your energy and seeing through your eyes all right that's how you leave the duality system of earth that's how you leave the computer system okay that's what you do you continue to be yourself you get into your own body and you view from your own body you view from who you are as you are with the own original energy of your own soul and then you see and you perceive and you process that's the only way to do it all right you'll see the translucent holographic layer layered over everything and then you'll realize that oh it's a computer simulation okay well I'm not going to be a part of that I'm going to reclaim my soul pieces I'm going to transmute my dark higher selves I'm going to step out of the containment field sick parasitic broken hearted computer simulation net that everybody's caught in and I'm going to cut my way out of it and continue doing that like it's that's just what it is that's what it takes that's who that's what you chose to do whether you believe it or not all right that's what's there all right if you continue to raise your consciousness you're just going to continue to see how everybody's doing the same things over and over and over again and going in the loop all right because this stuff is very important it's very important to realize what you are capable of the heights and the widths and the expansion that your awareness can actually take yourself to and how you can actually help yourself and help others by being that light in the darkness, by being that complete, still, centered, clear, and grounded beacon of awareness for others, all right? So, I mean, like, that's what you can do. That's what I can do. That's why I make these videos because I like helping you guys out like showing you what I'm processing because it's absolutely relevant you guys need to know this stuff all right so keep processing your dream time keep looking up and keep looking out from your own eyes and being aware in the present moment okay I love you if you guys would like a session I do sessions however it's not necessary you know it's just if you want to move forward and you need a helping hand I'm always open to that um, check me out on my website um i'll be back with more videos soon until then stay in your heart be at peace in oneness and take care peace out